This is the first in a series of videos designed to help you become a better snowplow operator. After viewing this video, you will be able to identify the many pieces of equipment used by the Iowa DOT for effective snow and ice removal and understand how each piece of equipment is used. Motorized vehicles used for snow removal include the heavy duty tandem truck, the medium duty tandem truck, and the medium duty single axle truck, the smallest truck used for plowing snow. Included in the motorized pool are motor graders, also referred to as maintainers, and loaders, both articulated loaders and tractor loaders. Snow and ice removal equipment includes the plows, reversible plows, down pressure plows, tow plows, V plows, light duty wings, heavy duty wings, ice blades, high speed underbody plows, spreaders, brine applicators, and powered snow blowers. The most universal piece of snow and ice removal equipment is the reversible plow, which can be mounted on a wide range of trucks as well as motor graders. As its name implies, the reversible plow is fully adjustable, so it can move snow to the left or right, as well as straight ahead. In-cab adjustments on the reversible plow include raising and lowering the plow, and turning the plow to the left and to the right. The location and appearance of the controls in the truck you operate may be different than these, but the basic functions will be the same. Raising and lowering, turning left and right. All reversible plows are equipped with a trip mechanism, which allows the plow to tip forward to reduce damage to the plow and truck if an immovable object is hit. The trip is reset by putting the plow on the ground and backing up the truck. A down pressure plow applies additional downward force to the road surface and is ideal for hard packed surfaces. Also used for plowing snow is the tow plow. When a truck uses a tow plow, together they can remove approximately 22 feet of snow with one pass, drastically reducing the amount of time to clear a road. Tow plows are usually used on multi-lane roads that are not near fixed objects. Tow plows can clear two lanes of roadway at once, functioning similar to two trucks working in tandem. Tow plows are not frequently needed and only used by specially trained operators. The V-plow is used during heavy snowfalls when it is too difficult to remove large drifts with a reversible plow. With its wedge shape, the V-plow can knife into drifts, throwing snow to the left and right. The light-duty wing is used as an extension of the front plow to remove snow further off the roadway. The light-duty wing can be mounted on the driver's side or passenger side of the truck. The light duty wing can be adjusted up and down and slide in and out. The light duty wing is fixed level to the roadway. Others, like this one, have a heel to toe adjustment so that you can tilt the heel up and tilt the heel down. Here are some common controls for the light duty wing. This is the heavy duty wing. Like the light duty wing, the heavy duty wing is often used as an extension to the plow to widen the area of snow removal. In addition, the heavy duty wing is used for removing snow off the shoulder of the road and benching snow back in heavy snow conditions. The front wing lift adjusts the toe, the rear wing lift cables adjust the heel, and the rear wing post adjusts the height of the plow. This is one of the cab control configurations for the heavy duty wing. Mounted on medium duty trucks, the high speed underbody plow is used to pick up snow that the plow leaves behind and clean up hard packed snow from the roadway. The high speed underbody plow should not be confused with an ice blade, which applies much more downward pressure and increases the amount of wear on the pavement. Controls move the blade up and down, turn it left or right, and lock it. Some of the older model high-speed underbody plow blades can also be curled forward or backward. Sand and salt spreaders come in a variety of configurations. Most are rear mounted. Some discharge material in the center and others to one side or the other. 
Still others are mounted at the front of the dump box and discharge material in front of the dual tires. Zero velocity spreaders allow the de-icing material to fall from the truck to the roadway, maximizing the amount of material kept on the roadway. Spinner chute spreaders distribute the de-icing material over a larger area of the roadway, which may or may not be desirable depending on conditions. The type of spreader used depends on the roadway and weather conditions, as well as the type of material being applied. From the cab, the operator controls the rate of material from a ground speed oriented system. Brine applicators come in a very wide variety of shapes and sizes. Some are commercial units. Tankers and trailers are the most common types of brine applicators. Brine can be used alone as an anti-icer or as a pre-wetting agent with dry material for de-icing roads. Pre-wetting reduces unwanted distribution of material and allows more rapid action of anti-icing chemicals. Power snowblowers like these are not often used, but when they are, they can eat their way through drifts that no other piece of equipment can move. This is a loader-mounted snowblower. A blower like this can throw 1,200 tons of snow an hour. Others are self-contained heavy-duty units, commonly referred to as snow goes. When snow goes are needed, they're called in from selected shops and are operated by specially trained snowblower operators. A blower like this can throw 1,800 tons of snow an hour. Loaders are used during the winter, primarily to mix salt and sand, as well as load trucks. Most shops also have a tractor loader as backup for the same job. Technology is also becoming more involved in the snow removal process. The automated vehicle location system allows your supervisor and the public to know where your truck is located in real time. Plow cameras, which are typically located near the top center of the windshield, record footage of the roadway. There are two additional cameras installed on the truck. One camera to monitor the amount of material in the dump box and the other camera to monitor the spreader. In the next training module, titled Pre-Season Truck Preparation, you will learn how to mount and prepare all of this equipment for the snow removal season.